Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about how you can filter out blank values in Salesforce. Now, there are different ways to do it depending on where you are. So let's do it in a list view. So I'm on an account list view and I'm gonna add a new filter. So pick the field that you want to base this filter on. In my case, it's the industry field. And so now I just say, you know, do I want the field to equal or not equal? And then I don't pick anything for values. By not picking anything for values, I'm essentially leaving it empty or blank. And so it would say, find me all the ones that are blank or find me all the ones that are not blank. So in this case, not equal to blank, if you will. All right. And if I change it to equals blank, now I'm only going to return the accounts that have an empty value for the industry field. Now, if you had a different type of field, like a number or a text field, you do it a little differently. Uh, you'd still pick equals or not equal to, but you would just leave that value box, that open text box completely blank. Okay, so you just leave it completely blank. So in this case, I'm finding all of the industries that are blank and all of the accounts that have names. That's what this little filter here does. Uh, sometimes people get a little confused here and they want to put like quotes or double quotes or empty quotes, uh, nothing. You really just put absolutely no text characters of any kind in those boxes. Well, that was list views. Reports are very similar. So you create whatever filters you want. And in this case, we're gonna add a filter for the industry field. And again, equals or not equal to, and then we're just not gonna pick any of the other values. Okay, so same, same kind of deal here, equals or not equals, and then empty values. And that's how you filter them out in your reports. Now that's for list views and for reports, but you can also create validation rules or formula fields. And finding blank values or empty values in a formula is a little bit different. So here I'm just gonna create a regular formula field. It doesn't, doesn't really matter what my formula field does, um, but this is how it would work. You would go in there and you would start creating your own little rules, right? Your own little logic for your formula. Something like if this field is blank, I wanna do something or do something else. Well, there's these little functions available to you. One is called is blank. Okay, and that's the one you're gonna use most often. There's another one called is null, and that one has some uses, but generally you're gonna use is blank. I'd have you refer to the documentation on those two functions if you really wanna learn the difference, but for most people, most of the time, you're gonna use is blank. And here, I'm gonna go find the industry field, that's the one I care about, and I'm gonna put that in my is blank function. So now my formula says, if the industry field is blank, show one value, and if it's not blank, show the other value. And this is how you would do it in validation rules as well. Well, now there's also automation rules. You might create a process builder rule. You might want to fire an automation if something is blank or is not blank. Well, this is a little bit different. There's actually an operator here called is null. Okay, because there's really no option to not select anything in automation rules. You can't just leave that part empty. You really do have to say is null and then say if it's true or false that it's null. Uh, so even if you had a text field like account name, even if you wanted to do equals or does not equal, the blank way we used to do it before just simply won't work. You'll get an error message. So you really do need to use this is null operator and then say true or false. And that's what's going to determine if this automation rule fires or not. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. That's how you filter out blanks on list views, reports, validation rules, formula fields, and automation rules. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.